Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching Cressy Insights. My name is Macy Troyer and I'm with Cressy Commercial Real Estate. Today we're here at Cornerstone Alliance in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and I'm with the president, Rob Cleveland. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for your time. I, uh, I have a, a couple of goals. I, I probably won't be as entertaining as Jeff Ray, but <laughs> I'll definitely be more entertaining than Chris Fielding. Oh. So the gauntlet's been thrown down. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's so great to be here um, at Cornerstone Alliance and in Benton Harbor. There's a lot of redevelopment going on. As I was driving, I could just see all of the revitalization and the progress going on with all of these gorgeous buildings downtown. And I know that um, Cressy and Cornerstone Alliance have a great partnership. You want to hit on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to death that you guys are, are partnering with us on a building down here in Benton Harbor. And it, uh, the building uh, actually over my shoulder here is at the corner of Pikestone and Main Street in Benton Harbor, which is the main intersection in Benton Harbor. Um, and the building that we've been redeveloping is uh, called the Harbor Center Building. and More than 100 years old and it's fallen into a state of disrepair. And the interesting thing about that project really was uh, we had talked to Chris and your team numerous times about the project. And Chris has an affinity for Benton Harbor. And, and uh, that's one of the many things that got the project over the, over the hump because it's a tough project. It's an extremely difficult project. And we were, I, in all honesty, Cressy Commercial Real Estate was, um, they were our, our, our last straw. I mean, they were really, we went to Chris finally and said, look, if, if you don't do this, we're gonna have to tear it down. Wow. And uh, we were a week away. And if, if Chris and the team didn't say yes, that building was being demolished. So um, it is it is the definition of what an economic development project should be. You've got, sure. got a great developer, you've got the state and the city, uh, the Brownfield Authority, the Economic Development Corporation, all of us are playing a piece in the project and uh, it's gonna be ex excellent. Yeah, we're, we're super excited about it and thanks for for asking us, we you know we're just super honored to be a part of the project. So yeah, and, yeah, and, and again, Chris has a long history here in Benton Harbor, but the interesting thing about the project really is, again, you guys are an Indiana-based uh, developer and you're 30 miles from us and there's this imaginary state line that people yes. make a big deal about, <laughs> but it also, there is there is some truth to that. And, and I will tell you, the state of Michigan was extremely excited that you guys came on board because you know, economic development really has changed in the last dozen years or so, where uh, during the recession and shortly thereafter, we were all competing for companies. We were all trying to recruit companies, and that's traditionally what economic development has been. But now we're competing for everything. We're competing for people, we're competing for companies and jobs and investment, and we're competing for developers and builders, because the bottom line is you can go anywhere in the country right now and make money. Mm -hmm. Cressy Commercial Real Estate can go in any market and put up apartments because everybody needs housing. Sure. So, so we're competing for that. And, and so for us to be able to work with the state of Michigan and recruit an Indiana-based developer to do their first project in Michigan, mm -hmm. the state looks uh, very favorably on that because our hope is that you're gonna do a lot more in Michigan. Sure, well. yes, and we hope so too. And I know that Benton Harbor and just Southwest Michigan in general is getting a lot of global publication. Um, really being put on the map for its beauty, uh, being very agriculturally diverse. Um, there's so many benefits to living and working and playing in Southwest Michigan and in Benton Harbor. Um, so other than that, why do why should people come and try out Benton Harbor and Southwest Michigan? Yeah, so so you're exactly right. We're we're fortunate and we're. Um pretty boastful right now about all the attention we're getting. Um, That's okay. Uh, Condi Nast was one that towards the end of the year came out and, and listed the top 20 places you should visit in With 2020. With Dubai and Rwanda, right. Armenia. I think there were two in the United yes, States. Nashville, Nashville and Southwest Michigan. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Um, and, and it's outstanding and it, it is, um, it, it shows the, the work that many generations of people have, have built. And you know, downtown St. Joseph has, has zero vacancy right now. So the business community is strong down there and uh, groups like St. Joseph Today and, uh, and Cornerstone Alliance have, have worked very hard to recruit people and, and, and build awareness. The Southwest Michigan Tourism Council as well. Mm -hmm. um, all have spent many years doing different things 
to raise the, the profile. And we recently, as I mentioned earlier, we're all competing for people and Cornerstone Alliance uh, is working with the community now to create a campaign. We created a campaign called Vacay Every Day. And, oh, yes. uh, yeah, right awesome. on your shoulder there. And, and hopefully uh, we've been we've been getting that out in the South Bend and the Indianapolis markets as well. And uh, it's important because International people recognize how great it is, and I think yeah. those of us locally, we don't always uh, appreciate the, the the many assets we have here. And, and I could go on and on, and I'm going to go a little bit, so I'll just tell you <laughs> yes, a couple so things. Right? So we all know up here, you got to embrace the winner, or you're mm -hmm. miserable, right? So um, there's there's any number of things to do here. Um, Berrien Springs has five pines, and we've got the the um, great state park that we can go sledding now that we finally have some some, some snow. Um, but, but then there's uh, any number of great things uh, in the summer. And just today, we just announced um, uh, a water taxi that we've been working on oh, wow. um, that we're going to do during the Senior PGA. So oh, that's um, exciting. You know, every other year we host during the summer the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship. That's 16 weeks mm -hmm. away. Um, and our marketing team is working with the Senior PGA and, uh, to, to elevate that. And we're gonna have a water taxi the week of Senior PGA, moving people around. Uh, the, the harbor in St. Joan, Benton Harbor, and, and so you got to keep building on the momentum, and, mm -hmm. and everybody's talking about it. Yeah. So, but, yeah, they're finally catching on. <laughs> yeah, the, the hidden gem is not a secret anymore. That's right. So I know uh, when we were chatting a little bit, I saw that you did, um, you worked for Andretti doing PR. I don't know how long ago that was. So were you ever in Indianapolis? Yes, so, yes. so okay. yep, I used to live in Indianapolis. Like, sure. I feel somewhat honored to be in the presence of a 500 festival <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love that's, it. That's so, something. It's super fun that we're both Indy 500 fans. Yeah, and, so, and who won in 16? I can't even um, remember. You know, that wasn't I just put you on the spot. Sorry. That's terrible we don't know. Don't but A younger gentleman. Ah, uh, 2016. Oh goodness, that was Rocky. That was the yes, 100th yes. anniversary. Yeah. Duh, that was ridiculous. I just had a good time with all of my friends and the group I was with. So I maybe didn't pay so much attention to yeah. the race, but I loved it. It was an iconic race. And it was one, the, the team owner was Brian Herda, who was a guy I worked with at Andretti. Very cool. So, uh, ridiculous. So you moved up to Benton Harbor. So why did you choose Benton Harbor? And why do you continue to live and to serve here? Yeah, so uh, I was fortunate. I, I worked for Indiana Michigan Power. Um, between Andretti and, and here, and uh, I was responsible for the economic and development community development uh, for this area. And so uh, I vacationed here when I was a kid. I'm from Leesburg originally, so spent time vacationing up here. And um, I I noticed pretty quickly what some of the international folks are finally catching on to. I think it's the greatest place in the world. It's amazing. Um, it, it really is. It absolutely is. Winter, summer. Um, there's there's a affordability that's nice, mm -hmm. there's great schools, uh, all, all those kinds of things that are that are ultimately important, but this is an incredible business community and it's driven by Whirlpool and driven by Spectrum Health Lakeland and, and driven by LECO, but we are, we're unique in, in, in the west coast here in Michigan in that we don't empty out during the summer or mm -hmm. during the winter, right? Sure. So we have all this tourism activity, which is a huge economic driver. Mm -hmm. It's outstanding for an economic development guy to have that, that piece there that, that so many people have done such a great job with, uh, but then also to have a real strong manufacturing and employment base. Mm -hmm. So it's a great community. Uh, we have strong uh, company presence, obviously driven by Whirlpool. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a great place to recruit people to. That that's one one thing that's interesting. Again, I, we talk about uh, what makes us different from an economic development standpoint. We have the ability to recruit people. Yes. Uh, people want to come and live here. We have great jobs. We have. Uh, AEPs with, with Cook, the Cook Nuclear Plant, Whirlpool, with Bosch. There's high tech jobs um, in what is the greatest place in the world to live. So mm -hmm. um, why not? So why, exactly, why not? Yeah. And and now we've got uh, Cressy Commercial Real Estate investing right next door to where we are right now, uh, three million dollars to put in a dozen apartments and new commercial space on the prime corner in Benton Harbor. So, so exciting. Yeah. There's so many wonderful things about Benton Harbor and Southwest Michigan, and I'm sure you encourage them to, you know, come out and try it and just see what it's like and, and get to know the people and the businesses and the beauty of Southwest Michigan. And to keep up with Cornerstone Alliance, you should check out their Facebook at Cornerstone Alliance.
Thank you so much for watching Cressy Insights, and I hope you guys have an amazing week.